One Year Wonder. Mark Reiser, CV, the voice of college football, taking a look at ACC schedules. Of course, this is the revised edition with the elimination of nine conference games, except for one give me for most of the teams in the conference, the 10 conference games, the no divisions, and Notre Dame included. The Virginia Cavaliers extended the streak in the ACC that will be broken for two reasons this year. Number one, because everybody in the Coastal has taken turns over the past seven years in winning the division, so that cycle would have had to repeat itself and not a new champion of the Coastal, and there is no Coastal division in 2020. Virginia finished at 9-5 and five after an Orange Bowl loss to Florida and annihilation at the hands of Clemson, the latest Coastal Division victim to the Clemson Tigers. The Football Power Index is looking at the casualties, the losses there at Virginia due to graduation onto the NFL Draft and NFL Camps this summer and see a huge downgrade with the Cavaliers. But Bronco Mendenhall can coach. He may be the very best in the conference. Let's look at it. All right, Virginia opens with a difficult stretch against Virginia Tech and Clemson on the road. I don't know that it gets much more difficult than that. The power index says 15% and 2% chances of winning those games. I'm slightly more optimistic against a rival in Virginia Tech. Of course, uh, the Cavaliers won that game for the first time in 16 years last year at 36% for me and 8%. That's the Football Power Index, of course. If you have yet to watch my uh, earlier videos, that is my percentage estimation of how many times that particular team, Virginia, would defeat those opponents in 100 games. I don't believe they're playing 100 games, so they're going to play once. So there is a chance that even though a team in my projection is a better team overall, could lose that particular game. It happens every Saturday. All right, NC State's up next. Uh, Virginia's a slight favorite in that one. According to the FBI at 58-42, I'm at 70-30 Cavaliers. On the road to Wake Forest in Miami, uh, I give them about as much of a chance of winning those games, 60-40 in that range, as the power index. North Carolina, Louisville, so this is a difficult stretch right here. Looking at Wake Forest in Miami on the road, North Carolina and Louisville, Maybe the next tier emerging in the ACC after Clemson. And the Cavaliers just have a 29 and 20% chance of winning those games according to the power index. I am favoring more of a 60-40 for the favorite there. Duke, Florida State, Boston College is manageable with only the trip to Tallahassee. Although the power index is giving the Cavaliers just an 18% chance of winning that game. At Florida State, I think the uh, power index is favoring Florida State just a bit too much there. And surprisingly, at home against Boston College, an underdog slightly, according to the power index. Of course, these games are going to be played in November and December, and we'll see if anything changes before that. All right, it all adds up to one win, according to the power index. If you take each game individually, the Power Index is projecting Virginia just to win one game. Go 1-9 this season. They've got no non-conference foes. Uh, but also understand that there's a consideration made that if you follow the probabilities and understand the math and the percentages, that if the Power Index is projecting Team A at a 30 or 35% chance of winning Game 1, Game 2, and Game 3, if you add all that up, then they're basically giving them a chance um, and probability of winning one of those three games. Not losing all three of them, but they've got a 30% chance in the first game, a 35% chance in the second game, a 30-some percent chance in the third game, add it all up, and the power index says they should win one of these games. We just don't know which one it's going to be, but we're projecting them to lose each game, if that makes sense. So you can look at it that way or take it individually because we don't have the math calculations to do it uh, over 10 games. And again, the power index not looking favorably on the Cavaliers with one win in 10 games. I've got them at four and six coming back down to earth after the conference or the division championship last year. But Bronco Mendenhall knows what he's doing. He's going to cycle down this year, but have the Cavaliers back up and strong in 2021. 
Leave your record projection below, and of course, subscribe right here to Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. We go live every day. We deliver new content every day. You got to subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications. That way, you know when we're going live. We'll see you next time.